Hello YouTube, this is Jack from Legend Fishing and today I'm just going to give you a quick uh, tour of our fishing boat that we use on this channel. Uh, this is a 1985 Prince Craft Fisherman. It's uh, been around for a long time. It's, very, it's a very stable boat. It's 14 feet long and we've got a 15 horse Johnson on it which I'll get to later. It's a very nice motor. Yeah, the boat's in pretty good condition especially the motor and I'm just gonna start at the bow here because uh, there's not much in the bow uh, everything's pretty much at the back so first we've got well really the only thing that's in the bow is this uh, Minn Kota 46 pound thrust trolling motor and first thing you'll notice about it is it's not supposed to be on the bow this is a stern mount trolling motor not a proper bow mounted trolling motor but we can't afford one and we already had this so we just kind of improvised it uh, even covers up the registration number which is nice and legal so it's it's these pieces of wood actually aren't even mounted on here the motor is clamping them together and holding it onto the boat so that's pretty crap but it works really well it doesn't slip off too much <laughs> which it shouldn't at all but sometimes it does well, we're working on that so it won't do that anymore uh, it, it stays out of the way pretty nicely, you know, you don't have any problems going fast with it. You want to lift it up out of the way. Pretty much just lift it straight up. Kind of tighten this thing here. And it's out of the way when you're fishing. If you don't want it out. This is obviously the nicest part about this boat. It's my favorite part. Is my Johnson 1995 15 horsepower outboard that is in absolute mint condition. Uh, I just washed everything. I just kind of cleaned this thing out, did a little bit of work to it, and it runs like a brand new four stroke. I've never had any problems with it. It just works great. Uh, what well, another thing that we've got back here that we always use is this nice old fish finder that I'm not even sure what year it is or how long we've had it. But uh, we mostly just use this for depth because in the Rideau River where we fish, you could be casting in a foot of water, weeds everywhere, in mud. And uh, it's really nice to know how deep it is so you know if you've got to pull up the good motor here and just use the trolling motor or if it's too deep to keep going, you got to kind of stop going in even shallower or too shallow to keep going, I should say. I said too deep, like an idiot. But uh, it's really nice. It's got an alarm on it too. So, and it is below, let's say I only want to go to a foot below the transducer here. Then uh, I can have it, uh, have an alarm go off when it gets too shallow. This is a nice old seat that came with a different boat that we have. Come, used to come with them. Uh, it's just a, like a standard Prince Craft seat. It's also very old, but uh, it's actually quite nice. It's supposed to be mounted to the boat. Well, a swivel seat supposed to be mounted to the boat. I don't have a mount in this boat. It's in another boat that I have, which is actually a lot nicer of a boat, except the seats and everything are rotten. So we don't use that, we use this. My fuel line is actually hidden away, which is really helpful because you never realize how much you trip on these things. Uh, until you get them out of the way. So uh, it's just got a little hook in here that holds it and the strut and I just uh, strap my fuel tank right here and it stays in place. That's pretty much it. It's all the important parts of this boat really. The major features. Obviously I've got nothing in here like my rods or my taco boxes or my fishing, you know, anything or even the gas tank but uh, Thanks for watching this video. If you want to see this boat when we're actually fishing, uh, check out the channel. We're going to have another video up in a couple of days. We're going fishing. And uh, the video should be uploaded either the day or the day after we go. But um, you'll get to see this boat. If you want to see more tours like this of the stuff that we have, uh, you know, and the things that we do, then uh, subscribe to the channel and put a comment on this video, tell us your thoughts, and drop a like if you enjoyed this video.
and thanks for watching.